when we done, I make them buy me ball, man. I'm on some dumb shit. By the way, what he say? He can tell I ain't missing no meals. Come through and fuck him in my automobile. Let him eat it with his grill. He keep telling me to chill. He keep telling me it's real that he love my sex appeal. He said he don't like I'm bony. He wants something he can grab. So I pull up in the Jag, made weather with the jab like dun 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 dun. Y'all already know what I'm about to say, bro. I, I, I want to, I want to start the video by saying, "What's up, guys? I'm back with another bit. I couldn't even do that because the topic we're about to talk about today. I just got so much on my brain. I have to get out. Like, as you guys can see by the title, and no reaction video. It's just a recap. We finna be talking about Euphoria season two, episode eight. It was so much that freaking went on." And man, I just want to start by saying, Cassie, it makes it kind of hard to, I don't know, it's like I see her pain. You know, I'm one of the few people that really see her pain. I'm not just going to flat out be like, I, I hate Cassie. Da, 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 da. I can kind of see her pain just a little bit, you know, and understand, uh, what it is that she feels, you know, do I feel like she's dramatic a lot of the time? Yes. Do I feel like she tries to pull like a sympathy card half the time? Yes. But does that mean that she's just this horrible, 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 downright bad person? No. Um, you know, when her confronting Lexi, I feel like as much as the play wasn't supposed to bash anybody, you know, it did kind of bash her in a way, you know, I feel like they're working, but maybe, okay, everybody took the play differently. That's what I will say. Everybody looked at it differently. You know, some people seen it as, you know, it is what it is. I see the good, I see the bad. Some people like Rue, they saw it as like a beautiful thing. Like, I really enjoyed it. And then you got some people like Cassie that their feelings were really hurt. Like, is this really how you feel about me? Like, dang, like, wow, you know? It was just a lot for her, even though the good. She didn't really see the good. She just maybe seen the bad stuff about herself. And she always, she's already kind of insecure. So I guess that made her a little bad worse, you know? Um, but, you know, to say what she said to Lexi, Lexi was just trying to be open, trying to express herself. Ain't nothing wrong with ever expressing herself. So for her to try to come at her like that was like, low key, you did all this because Nate broke up with you. Like, let's be real. You did all that because he broke up with you and now you're in your feelings. Please, let it go. I just let it, just let it go, man. Um, and you know, Maddie got a little one-two. Maddie finally jumped on that girl. That face at the end, Cassie knows her face. Yo, Cassie. Maddie, we, hey, we caught that though. If we didn't get it in that uh, episode seven, we definitely got it now. We definitely got it. Or episode six. We definitely got it now. Cassie. Cassie. Why would you try to fight Lexi? And not nah, Maddie talking about something. Nah, bro. You need to get whacked. You trying to dip. Nah, Maddie caught up with you. She banged her. Bro, I got to react to that scene, y'all. I have to. Y'all, if y'all see a reaction video to a couple of those, just know that's what I had to do, man. And you know, um, what else happened? Uh, the fight with them. Oh, the Fez and Ash thing. That was so, so sad. Ash Trey just known to react like that though. He's always gonna jump off and try to protect. And I feel like he he wasn't picking up that it was a cop situation, you know? Cause if he was, he wouldn't uh, you know, did all that. He was picking it up on. He was picking up on it like it was something else. But shout out to Faye because she's real. You know, she dropped the glass and then when he looked at her, she was like, don't say anything. Don't, and, and he probably was confused like, but I feel like Loki in his mind kind of pick up, picking up, picking up on it like, let's be for real. This is something, this is a setup or something. And she tried to say it today and spin it and be like, bro, Remember that lady killed so-and-so? The lady. And I feel like that's when Ash and Loki should have picked up on it, but he sacrificed himself for whatever reason. Um, 
I don't know. Like, I really don't understand the reason of him doing that because freaking Fats already done put his fingerprints on the on the knife. So, I don't understand what his doing behind that was, but it was very, it, it was a, a good scene, yo. He was, he was holding out. <laughs> he was putting up a good fight, man. I still believe he really could have. He really could have still put up a good fight, bro. He was he was doing his thing. And I was starting to like him, even though he barely even spoke. I don't even think I heard him say a word. Um, but he was doing his thing, man. Kudos to him, bro. He will be missed. He will be missed. And it's sad that Fed never got to go to Lexi play. Um, but you know, obviously we're gonna see them make a mix. I'm pretty sure she's gonna understand why he couldn't make it, you know. As for Lexi and Rue, like I said, that is one friendship I want to be mended. I want them to work on that because them together as friends, I just find it to be really cute and beautiful. And that's the best friend that Rue needs, Lexi, you know. Um, and truly, Lexi is a true best friend to Rue. And I just want to see that friendship flourish, you know. Uh, as for Rue with Elliot, um... Friendship's not good for her. You know, when he asks her, do you ever think we could actually be friends? Personally, no. And it's only because he still does drugs. She can't be around an addict when she's trying to get clean. Now, if he stopped doing drugs, maybe, you know, they'd be better fit for each other. But as far as him doing drugs and still trying to kick it with her, that's not going to work. Or she's going to relapse. So, I mean, that was kind of an obvious question. But I'm happy that, you know, they made amends and she forgave him and... Um, even though she don't know about the whole shitty thing, and even if she do know, we don't know that she know because she didn't really specify that she knew. Um, you know, it's beautiful the song he wrote for her. I really liked the song in general, it was really cute. Um, you know, hopefully, we see more of them. You know, hopefully, he stops doing drugs and they can just be cool, you know, down the line, later down the line, whatever. Um, and you already know, last but not least, my last point of this video, Rue and Jules. Rue and freaking Jules, man. Rue and freaking Jules. I wanna talk about Nate and his dad, but I'm not going to too much until I do a reaction video to that scene, only because I truly, truly, truly don't understand why he turned him in, or what he turned him in for exactly. Was it the Jules thing? Or messing with minors, I really don't know yet. So that's why I'm just gonna say that for another another video. But yeah, Rue and Jules, I feel for Jules, man. She misses her friend, her her everything. That was her joy, low key. That was her happiness, bro. She misses she misses um Rue, and you know I feel Rue when she was talking to Elliot. She was like, that one is gonna take a minute, you know. Um, apology wise, cause I feel like she owes Rue an apology. I mean, she owes Jules an apology as well as she has to forgive um, Jules for snitching on her, you know. But Jules is really important to Rue, so that's obviously gonna take a, a long amount of time for her to, you know, to build up that nerve to even speak to Jules, you feel me? And you know, it was really sweet that scene where Jules came up to her and he was like, I miss you, you know. And I love you and I just, you know, want to tell you that. And Rue really couldn't say much. All she could do was kiss her. And that was her way, I feel like, of letting her know, like, look, we will be okay, you know. I'm working on it. That was her way of, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna work our progress, bro. That's, that's all I can say, bro. And she just walked out. Man. Like I said, I don't feel like they're a good fit as a couple because it's too much that go on. I feel like the selfishness has to die down. And maybe it's only because of Rue's uh, drug problem. But how will we know? You know, if they ever do get back together, it's a lot they gotta be fixed with them for them to get back together, man. That's all I gotta say about that. And um, yeah, this episode was really good. It, it gave what it needed to give from start to finish. I loved every minute, bro. If you don't watch Euphoria, please watch it. Please, you will not be disappointed. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed, man. And, um, yeah, you know, I, I enjoyed it. So, I'm ready to see season three. When that's going to get, because I really don't know. I'm, I'm curious. I'm skeptical. I don't really have any theories in my brain about it. Um, 
was ready to see, you feel me? Wait, let me know you got the thoughts and opinions. How you guys feel about, you know, euphoria this episode? Do you guys feel for Cassie? You guys hate her guts. Because I've been watching a lot of stuff on Twitter, Instagram. You got people that still, you got people that even still like Cassie. You got people that feel like she's not as bad as everybody else made it seem. And you got people that just straight up hate the girl, you know? And I get what she, you know, like she said, she seems like such a villain, but she's really not that bad, you know? Like, yeah, what she did to Maddie was dead wrong, but before she did it to Maddie, she wasn't even that bad. You know, I feel like because she did this to Maddie, now everybody's trying to throw all these extra things in there. And Lexi Play is making her look even worse, but Cassie really is not even that bad, bro. Like, cut her some slack a little bit, at least for everything else that's not Maddie related, please. Yes, she, what she did to Maddie was a little fucked up, you know? That was all right, but besides that, she's a, she's not that bad. And her as a sister, it's just sibling things. That's all I can say. You got some children that are like that. You got some that aren't, you know? Ain't nothing new. If you got a sibling, you would know that. Especially if you got a sister or your girl, you would know that. So, yeah, just cut my dog a little slack, you know? Um, But, yeah, that's really all I got to say about it. And, you know, like I said, let me know you guys' thoughts. Let me know what you guys felt, how you guys felt about it. And I'm going to get you guys for the next video. Bye.